Laughter is a proven antidote to stress, and when you're a medical practitioner in a busy general hospital, a sense of humour is part of your survival kit. Dr. Suhail Issa takes this a step further by dishing out healthy doses of humour in his second career as a comedian. So I made an appointment to find out what guided him along these two diverging paths. I did most of my training at Baraguanath Hospital in Soweto, the biggest hospital in the Southern Hemisphere. Being the biggest, we've got the sickest patients, most incurable diseases, best doctors, and the oldest cockroaches. I mean, the oldest. At month end, the hospital corridors are just spotless because all the cockroaches are busy collecting their pension. That's how old. Since the days of telling those shaggy cockroach stories, Dr. Suhail Issa has made the move from Krishani Baragwanath to Charlotte Matleke Hospital, which is where Zaki had arranged to meet him. Suhail doesn't look like a man with a sense of timing for anything except a pulse, but you soon come to realize his inner comedian is always on call. One of the worst things I could do with my time is going to see the doctor. And one of the best things I could do with my time is going to watch stand-up comedy. Right now, I'm about to do both, and that may sound like an odd combination, but when it comes to Suhail Issa, it's all in a day's work. Dr. Issa! Hey, Zakia! Whoa, whoa, wait a bit. You can't cross the red line without scrubs. Let's go get some scrubs. My parents are going to be so thrilled to see me dressed up like a doctor. So you got to put it on. Okay. Like that. And just tie it. All right. Looking good. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to one of my many theatres. So, hell, why medicine? Well, my grandfather was actually a doctor and anaesthetist and I used to visit the hospital with him a lot. I found it really cool, and I'm Indian, so. What does medicine mean for you on a personal level? I truly uh, want to help people, and I know I make my parents really proud. What are some of the challenges and highlights of being a doctor? There's many challenges. We don't have a lot of resources. Sometimes we don't have lights. Sometimes we don't have gloves. Sometimes we don't have syringes. And then the rewards are your patient's gratitude, mainly. I mean, many times they can't offer you anything but just a simple thank you and that's enough. I know that there are many different paths to becoming a doctor. Where are you in the process? I am in my second year of internship at Charlotte Makayake, Johannesburg Academic Hospital, and I'm currently rotating in anesthesiology. You've studied to be a doctor. Where did your love of comedy come from? I watched Riyadh Musa's show, For the Baraka, and I was just like blown away. Fast forward 2014, I find myself at this dingy bar in Bramfontein, and it's a new material night. Chatted to some of the guys that run the show, and then they were like, hey man, you seem funny. Why don't you try this out? And then I just did it. Are your family supportive of your deviation in career? Initially, they were just a bit confused. My mom, from the beginning, was very supportive. My father was just like, it was like a drug habit that he just, he knows that it's going on, but he doesn't really want to talk about it. Do you intend to specialize or become a full-time comedian? If you ask my parents, I'm going to specialize. <laughs> If you ask me, I'd really like to give comedy a full-time shot and see where it takes me. Your best doctor, doctor joke. Doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. Pull yourself together, man. <laughs> That's terrible. I'd love to chat more, but it seems like I'm being beeped. I gotta go save some lives. But maybe we can catch up later? Sure. Sure. You go save lives. <laughs> Zaki suspected that watching Suhail in theatre would involve seeing a little more anatomy than she was comfortable with. So they set up a time to meet in his other working environment. Knock, knock. Who's there? Zakia. Zakia who? Zakia Patel. That's why I'm the comedian. Stop saying that. How hard is it to be a comedian? Clearly, very hard. <laughs> I'll tell you, my first set was terrible. I just kept coming back and I got funnier every, every single time. So what topics do you cover in your comedy? I do talk about my life. I do talk about politics, sort of social commentary. People think comedians just make up jokes, whereas a lot of research goes into comedy. Oftentimes, the funniest jokes are the ones which have the deepest meaning and the one that you're gonna go home and you're gonna laugh about and you're gonna be like, oh, actually, 
there's a, there's a hidden meaning behind this. So that's the type of jokes that I, I try and tell. Apart from performing at a number of local venues and events, Suhail has also gigged at the Backyard Comedy Club in London. Um, I'm here from South Africa. Africa. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here on a vacation. I'm actually here to adopt your children. <laughs> Don't mind it, just the chubby ones. Just the chubby ones. So I can take them back to Africa and show our starving ones what eating can do to you. <laughs> Who are some of the local and international comedians that you admire the most? Luis Ogola is another big inspiration. I also opened for him recently in Grahamstown at the Arts Festival. He's amazing. He didn't finish school and he just started doing comedy and he's the most well-read, brilliant person. Like, he could be a professor of, like, sociology, but he's here telling jokes. And Trevor Noah, obviously, a very talented comedian. International, I love Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock. Eddie Murphy, those are my big inspirations. Okay, I have a challenge for you. Could you work Mela into the punchline of a joke? Where the punchline is Mela? Uh -huh. What is a Mela? A Mela is a gathering of people or a beating of a drum. Beating of drum, like a... Quanta la Mela. That's ridiculous. Okay, that wasn't a great joke, but I, I, I'm trying some new material. I, I, I think I'm gonna rehearse it soon. Do you wanna you check some of my new material? As long as it's not Quanta la Mela. Much better, trust me. Hi, hi, how are you all doing? So I'm from Durban. I'm from Durban, I'm from Durban. I obviously speak Zulu. Everyone in Durban speaks Zulu. Even the ocean sounds like a stressed out Zulu guy. Even the ocean goes, ish. <laughs> and that's the Indian Ocean. I love that. Thank you so much for such an entertaining afternoon. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Zakia.